On Daybreak's first Wednesday show this morning, we had the likes of Irungo Hutton, the director of the executive director of Amnesty International, Mdura Kiarara, who is the former deputy presidential candidate. We also had with us Steve Ogolan, an advocate of the High Court, and Harriet Chigai, the LSK vice president, discussing this issue of Miguna. Legal experts now say Miguna Miguna should sue the government for harassment and contravention of the court order following him to return to the country. Miguna, who was expected in the country this morning, was ejected from an Air France flight before takeoff. This is after an early attempt to board a plane headed for Kenya in Germany field. He had been told that he could not board the plane at Frankfurt Airport in Germany due to the government red alert issued. We asked our ex our viewers, or you our viewers as well, but our panel, what they had to say about this. Take a listen. My rallying call really would be that we need to prepare spaces and prepare others to be able to lead because we cannot be there forever, okay. you know, and we need to stop that. And that is why even as we speak right here, when you look at the next leadership, when you close your eyes, you actually see the same leadership, you know, yeah. you see the same faces, yeah. you know, nothing much is going to change and it's a sorry state yeah. and it's because we as Kenyans have allowed that to happen. So we need to change and change that culture. And we can also change. Myself, I always say you can change that culture by looking at the current generation that is coming up. And that is why it's important as a nation we take up mentorship. We review our school curriculum, by the way. We cannot just look at the top. We now have to start looking at the children that we are bringing up right now. Can we entrench governance in the school learning program like what the Netherlands have done? Right. There is an aspect we are not looking into this Miguna matter. Okay. And that is, number one, the leadership we have in Kenya is incompetent. It's inept. Kenya is a corrupt nation. What if within this whole field they took it to our foreign affairs and they have incompetent staff who were supposed to do something mm -hmm. so that Miguna could be gotten out of that red alert matter mm -hmm. and they didn't. Now, problem is our president has been a little hesitant at cracking the whip. We've seen a cabinet that's not competent and he's not sacked anyone so far even when they have faulted. So let us not imagine th that there is a huge scheme in the background. It could just be that someone was supposed to do their job and they did not. And how that person got to be in that office is because we elected a corrupt leadership and that's been perpetuated and shaming Kenya in the international scene. Mm. That's also a possibility. If you give Kenyans an opportunity to reorganize this government, I can tell you, they will vote the same way. Okay. So because politicians know, Kenyans have no capacity to translate the anger to political action, they will act the same way. Mm. Uhuru Kenyatta and his jubilee administration are capable of obeying court orders if all their supporters, forget NASA supporters, if all jubilee supporters stand up in arms and say no, 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 no. We're not saying that he should vacate office. We elected him, we gave you a term of five years. But on the issue of Miguna Miguna, we say no. This is not what we expected from someone we voted for. I think on the case of Miguna Miguna, I, you know, I come back to Madiora's point earlier that um, he said that perhaps there's an administrative error um, that somehow lurks in this red alert that has failed to be lifted. I, I, I mean, I gave the government um, a degree of, um, uh, I guess, uh, I suspended my doubt for a couple of hours yesterday, but it's been 24 hours since um, the first plane was supposed to take off. Mm -hmm. We now have tweet uh, screenshots of both Lufthansa and Air France saying that they, they have been told by the government not to do this. So it's very clear to me that actually there is a um, statement that has come uh, from the government not to allow him to board. And I think uh, what I would like to see this morning is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs essentially putting out a statement publicly and copied to Lufthansa and Air France and perhaps all the airlines in, the, in Europe because it seems like we're dealing with both Frankfurt, Berlin and Paris, but essentially just facilitating his return so that we can remove um, the international doubt that has now been placed on this particular case. Specifically in terms of the disobeying of court orders, um, the BBI spoke about it. It was very clear that this is one of the threats to our nation. Um, we've not talked about that, but um, it has been, um, I guess, listed time and time again in different government um, processes. Um, court, you know, disobeying court order is essentially an expression of the of impunity, and it endangers the whole democratic project.
Um, so anybody who feels comfortable in a society that allows state officers to uh, disobey court orders is actually courting the, you know, the, the destruction of this country.